Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another close-up review. So this is of the new Luna edition of the Ethereal Visions Tarot. This is the older tarot that came out a few years ago. Um, I swear this has became like my number one tarot deck purchase of the year. Um, no joke. So I'm going to show what's different and why I feel like this is such a beautiful upgrade to the tried and true Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot, which most people have. So I just want to briefly remind you what the Ethereal, the old one looks like. These were the backs of the cards and it came with a booklet and most of the foil in it was gold. So it was beautiful, right? And beautiful artwork. But what the Luna edition does is it's a 140 color guidebook. All right, let me put this here. Um, it upgraded it. Instead of a pamphlet, you're actually going to get a booklet. Just want to show you this full color booklet. And it is absolutely gorgeous with colored pictures and a full length uh, message for the upright reversed and the general meaning and what I love too was the tone of it like if you read the strength card look at this full color gorgeous picture and it will say the strength card reminds us that the true power comes from within through patience gentleness and compassion one can overcome obstacles without resorting to physical aggression the woman and the lion signify that we need to tame the beast within ourselves and find balance here are the key words for each one I also appreciate you'll find in the ethereal visions tarot all the cards instead of the gold foil i'll show you it's beautiful silver foil which you know i would love and then also just the tone i just want to read you the tone some of the images have been completely changed also in the luna and the upgraded images just bring it to a whole other level i love the temperance card is one of the prettiest cards in the deck in either of the versions i just want to say but what i love to the hierophant I just want to show the Hierophant for some reason. It really, the tone of the actual card message, the Hierophant, look at the image was upgraded and it's so beautiful. Here we stand at the gateway to our understanding, awareness, and what lies before us. With every nervous and unsteady step outside the veil, we move closer to a deeper exploration of ourselves and the world around us. We may seek it externally on the quest for eternal knowledge, but we can also access the wisdom within. It takes time, dedication, devotion, and action to harmonize the dimensions we seek to traverse. Do you seek wisdom externally, or do you wish to align with spirit and create a more more intimate relationship that is the most beautiful definition of the hierophant so what i'm saying is i love the tone of the definitions in this huge guidebook so that is a huge difference because here in the old one you'll get keywords it's a pamphlet um and everything else and this is beautiful i've treasured this deck i just find the images absolutely gorgeous right it like melts your heart um but what i want to show about the luna it is you know when people upgrade their decks and but this was such a beautiful upgrade. This was such a beautiful, and a lot of the images have been completely changed. So I wanna get into that. So it's a close-up for you. I'll show you every card. And then also, I wanna show you the differences. So right here is the Fool. This is iridescent silver foil, whereas, and here are the backs of the cards. Let me just show you the difference in the backs of the cards, right? So this is the new Luna. This is the original Ethereal Visions. Now this one has, there's, there's gold foil around here. And then on this one, it's this iridescent, iridescent silver. And what you're also going to notice is some of the images have been completely updated, upgraded into new beautiful artwork. So this was a deck that came out earlier this year. It just, I haven't had a chance to do a close-up review. I've also been so much more picky about the decks that I purchase and what I show on the channel and what I personally use because I, I have just reached a point where I have so many decks that it's, you know, enough already. But this was a deck that I will treasure and... I mean, it was, I visited it before I purchased it. That's so much. Um, so this Luna edition, for a while I was like, oh, it's a new version. I have the old, why do I need it? But it it's completely different deck in the images and the foil brings it to a whole different level. And there's something about the artwork with Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes, it like melts your heart. Okay, so let's get into the cards. So these are the backs of the cards. And you're going to notice these images have all been changed. And they're so beautiful. And there's so many different elements to it. Um, and it's just exquisite. And all the artwork has been changed and upgraded. And it's just more beautiful. Um, the changes, I mean, the upgrades. So, and the iridescent silver foil just brings it to a new life. So it does really feel like a different deck. It feels like a new, beautiful deck.
Okay, so let's get into the Luna. So let me just show you this. I'll move over the older one. And the older one is still beautiful and I will never part with that either. But this Luna, it's not just simple um, changes. It feels like a whole, I'm not, he really truly elevated the deck is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I love the foil on this and I love the magician here. And it, this is upgraded image, totally different image. This is from, you'll you know, remember some of the uh, images. This is the cover of the old, this is the high priestess. And I love the high priestess and the message he has in the book for the high priestess is beautiful. I love the tone of the messages and look at this iridescent foil. Um, so, and this is moderately priced for, you would think this costs so much more. I mean, I'll put the link to the Amazon in the description box, like all my reviews where you can check it out. You don't necessarily have to buy through there, but you could read the reviews and also um, see the average cost of the deck. And it's, I would have paid even more <laughs> you know, some decks that have these features, it's so much more expensive. And even just this crescent, the moon here, and the book here, I mean, it it just brings it to new life. I so appreciate it. It ended up to be my favorite tarot deck purchase of the year, which says a lot. Um, the Empress, this is new artwork as well. And this is on the cover. The Empress is on the cover. Just so, so, so beautiful. And the foil is just gorgeous and here's the emperor and so you see there's a lot of updated illustrations and it's just actually gorgeous and this foil just puts me over okay we have the hierophant and i love how it's depicted as just this like gateway connection really gorgeous i'm just moving the card around so you see all the see everything has so much foil even the star in there the lovers this is an older image that was in the other deck as well. The chariot was in the other deck. So some of them, and look at how the stars are even with the foil. We have the strength card. I love the strength card so much. And see the foil. Some of these images, the tempers card. I remember the first time, you know when you have tarot decks and you actually remember your visceral reaction when you saw a card? The temperance card was one of the most beautiful temperance cards I've ever seen in a tarot, tarot deck full stop. Um, <clears throat> the hermit card, just beautiful. Love that hermit card. Everything is so crisp and clear. I love how this is even illuminated. Wheel of Fortune, Justice. So much illumination in here. Let's see. We have the hangman, and I love how this is illuminated, right? I don't know why that gives me, sometimes it just gives me chills, like what's illuminated in the deck. Um, death card. Look at this temperance card and look at the wings. When This is the card when I saw it, I was like, that is the most beautiful temperance card. I hope YouTube chooses this as a snapshot for the video. <laughs> you know how YouTube creates, auto creates the snapshot for a video. I just love this temperance card so much. I swear it. Out of so many hundreds and hundreds of temperance cards, this is one of my all-time favorite temperance cards in any tarot deck. I just think it's so beautiful. I think it's the huge wings and see the illumination in the wings. I just find it so gorgeous. Okay. Okay, the devil. Not my favorite cards. <laughs> devil tower. I don't spend too much look at Oh, look, the face is illuminated. It's just so pretty. I love a star card. And it's a gorgeous, and the star is illuminated. There's a gorgeous message for the star card. The tone of his guidebook is gorgeous in here. The tone of the messages of how he depicts the card is really beautiful. Um, I love how the star is here. The moon, there's a crescent moon. We have the sun card, big sun illumination. I love the sun card too. So beautiful. Judgment, beautiful. The world. It's kind of Art Nouveau style, so if you like that, you're really gonna love his artwork. The well. Oh yeah, there are two extra cards. I always forget about that. The well, and I think the artist. There are two extra cards in his deck. So there are 80, there should be 80 cards, not 78. So the well and the artist are two extra cards, which are so beautiful too. Um, at the moment I'm blocked. I forgot what they meant, but it was like so beautiful. <laughs> Trust me. 
<laughs> okay, the well and the artist. We have the king of cups. I love the crown that's illuminated as well. The king of cups. We have the queen of cups. Her crown is illuminated. We have the knight of cups. We have the Page of Cups. The court cards are pretty much what were in the older deck. The Ace of Cups, so pretty. Look at the hand and the wings, illuminated. Really beautiful. Two of Cups. Let's see, you can see the, the foil, iridescent foil. This is the Three of Cups. Gorgeous. I love how like their halo is the illumination around their heads, beautiful. We have Four of Cups, beautiful. Five of Cups, I go faster on the sadder cards. <laughs> Six of Cups, so precious. We have the Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, and see the cups are illuminated, foil. Seven of Cups, I mean, sorry, Eight of Cups. I love how these, see how the cups are illuminated? Pretty, Nine of Cups. <laughs> I like the expression. Ten of Cups. I see some of the artwork has been changed and upgraded. And King of Pentacles. Look, I love that illumination. I love. And if you notice, I mean, the difference. Because here it's like the gold. And I guess it would be like the gold foil. This is so. It's that's it, The older version is beautiful too. Don't get me wrong. It's like... Um, but this, it's just exquisite. And I would have paid a lot more for it. <laughs> oh, I just love that. I'm so pretty. Queen of Pentacles. I remember, and I was, um, people were teasing me when I did the close-up review of this many years ago. I was like, it's almost so pretty. I don't use it as much because I thought it was so pretty. I almost didn't, you know, when you have really pretty decks, you're almost like afraid to use it. <laughs> and I remember saying on the review, I have to use this deck more. It's like, it's so pretty. It's like, you almost don't want to use it. It's so pretty. How pretty. Okay, queen. And this is the knight of pentacles. So pretty. Okay, we have the page of pentacles. Ah, oh, look at that ace of pentacles. Here we have the hands, iridescent. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Pentacles are all foil. This is similar to the old. You'll notice which ones are from the older deck and which ones have been upgraded. Three of Pentacles. This is the Four of Pentacles, beautiful. I love that Four of Pentacles. It's such a beautiful version of the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, beautiful. Seven of Pentacles, I love the Pentacles illumination. Beautiful. Eight of Pentacles, beautiful. Look at that Pentacle even down here shimmering. So pretty. Nine of Pentacles, oh I love it. I love the corners illuminated like that. And the Pentacles are See how the pentacles reflect? So gorgeous. I love it. Ten of pentacles. All the pentacles up top are foil. Here we have the king of swords. And the king of swords. Queen of swords. Knight of swords. Page of Swords. So pretty. Oh, it's, oh, I see it went in weird order. Sorry about that. Ace of Swords. Look at that hand. Look at the, you can really see the foil. Beautiful. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. It's a pretty Three of Swords. Four Swords, the Lotus, so pretty. Five of Swords, 
Six of Swords. I was trying to see if the swords are illuminated. I don't think so. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Sneaky. Eight of Swords. So pretty. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. King of Wands. So let's see. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands. Sorry for the background noise. We have Page of Wands. Never fails to get noisier when I start doing a video. <laughs> oh my goodness. Page of Wands. Here we have Ace of Wands. Oh, I love that Ace of Wands. How pretty is that? Ace of Wands. Here's Two of Wands. Three of Wands. We're nearing the end. <laughs> Four of Wands. Oh, let's get the sirens now. Five of Wands. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and Ten of Wands. So sorry, it was a little out of order, but see, that was the new Luna edition. So you see this iridescent foil. It is so, so pretty. It is so pretty. And so compared to the older, just to give you, this is the older original one, the original ethereal visions illuminated and this is the new luna so the backs are completely different this is gold foil this is the silver iridescent and a lot of the images are also completely changed and different and the artwork is exquisite the other difference too is instead of a pamphlet with the old deck you're going to get a full color 140 page guidebook and the tone of the definitions are beautiful even the six of Pe pentacles ask yourself if there is an equal energy energetic exchange happening in your life do you sometimes feel yourself more of the giver or more of the taker and where can you find the balance in your relationships do you need to ask for help or are you in a place to help someone else don't see it as a power struggle but rather as a balance of power and here we have upright and we had that card come out in the last reading empathy and the reverse keyword so so this is what i mean by the tone of it it all is beautiful here's my favorite card the temperance card and you'll have a full length the temperance card i just want to read this and we'll end it with here appears when there is a need for balance in in opposing areas of your life you are being asked to be patient and re-examine your priorities that may be in disharmony temperance as assists us by pointing to life's meaning and higher purpose and upright its balance harmony harmony purpose moderation and then you get the reverse but absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful my favorite card in this deck so this was the newest version the luna edition absolutely an upgrade like absolutely elevates the deck so it's not just oh a change of foil or whatever it's a changing guidebook there's different artwork this is iridescent silver foil it totally elevated the deck and to me it, what it became like my favorite tarot purchase of this year to be honest um so yes this has been the close-up review of the ethereal visions tarot this is the luna edition that came out this year earlier this year and this was also a comparative to the older deck so i wish you the best take care bye bye